So it is Inktober day three and I'm a bit late with this video. I have had a terrible migraine for like a day and a half. Um, so I was definitely looking for a way to do a smaller and easier piece. So I actually just decided to take one of my dinner bowls, create a circle and create a piece inside of that circle. Um, I've seen a lot of mountain watercolors and I just love mountains. I was born at the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains and then I went to graduate school in Boone, North Carolina and I've always kind of had trouble painting mountains to look realistic so that was something I wanted to work on a couple times maybe just once I don't know during this inktober and I think this um, not feeling well has given me a chance to do this because it's a smaller painting than some of the other ones I have planned. I guess it's not really a painting. Maybe it is. I'm using ink, so it's an ink drawing, I guess. Um, and this is just all black and white. I'm using the same ink that I've been using in my other ones when I got from Walmart for just a few dollars. I made up a couple ink washes in my palette, and that's what I'm using. I do use a Sakura white jelly roller in a little bit, but this is actually inspired by One Mountain in specific, and that's Grandfather Mountain. Whenever I got the chance to go home in graduate school, I would drive from Boone to Banner Elk and then down the mountain, and I would pass Grandfather Mountain each time, and I just loved, loved driving through there. And it's called Grandfather Mountain because from certain angles, you can actually look and see the profile of a sleeping man and a lot of people think it looks like an older man. Um, I didn't draw it from that profile. I just really liked this reference image that I had and I don't know. I just, I don't, it's kind of a special piece just because I really, really miss um, the mountains since moving. I live in Texas now and it's, it's very flat and I miss living where I saw mountains every day because for most of my life that's what I lived in and I miss skiing and I miss the snow and cold weather so I've been feeling a little I guess like homesick for North Georgia and for um, North Carolina just a little bit over the past couple months and I don't know this picture just helped me feel a little bit better especially since today has been like a meh day with a migraine and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sorry that this video is coming out a little later, but like I said, I might not be posting videos every single day of Inktober just because sometimes the filming and the editing take a large chunk of time, but with simple videos like this, it's not too difficult to get them edited and up. But I hope that your Inktober or your October, if you're not participating in Inktober, is still treating you well and if you see this video on October 3rd or 4th, well not the 3rd, it's already the 4th, October 4th or 5th, it's not too late to still participate in Inktober. It's just really about having fun and I, I did have fun doing this and I hope you've had fun watching the video or at least a few enjoyable moments. Um, thank you so so much for watching. Have a happy Halloween month and Inktober month and October month. And I will see you in my next video.